Lee, we're here at Valve Tech today and we've seen the ZX range in action and it's been a real insight on how it can solve uh, and give a better return of investment for lots of different solutions and applications. Uh, yes, that's right. Um, it's a very universal uh, tool which HBM's basically it's just it's crying out for really. Um, as Neil's mentioned, boring, facing, turning, threading, so many different versatile uses for a facing head. I mean, the, the savings are, are, are huge, effectively, for the correct a application, up to 500%? That's right. I mean, the big saving is, in, is purely in the, uh, in the fact that you have less tool changes. You can do several different things with that one tool. Um, cranage, a lot of, you know, you're in a factory like this where you've got a, one crane share between three or four machines. So the idea is once you've got something on the machine, you can then, you know, utilize it um, to make yourself more efficient. I mean, when you look at it, rule of thumb, if you look at the cost of the machine tool, um, percentage-wise, and you look at the cost of a, a ZX tool, um, it, it's, it's a no-brainer, isn't it, Lee? It is, yeah. I mean, there's a misconception. I mean, a, lot of, a lot of these machines, obviously, are capital expenditure, um, but these, these tools tend to pay for themselves within 12 months. Um, you know, they really are a, a very um, cost-effective way of manufacturing. And how's business been for you in general this year? Very good, 2018 started exceptional. Um, oil prices increasing has obviously helped us dramatically. Um, so far this year we've sold nine facing heads, which is a great start to 2018. Um, and it's just a show of the industry picking up. And um, the facing heads are not the only tooling and products that you sell. I mean, could you touch upon some of the other products and how are they going? Yeah, that's right. I mean, the, obviously we manufacture um, burr away deburring tools. Um, chef cut reamers, recessing heads, roller burnishing tools, basically anything to do with hole finishing. So the ZX is a complete um, niche product on its own. So there is a lot more to cog still and a lot more to come this year for the videos than just the ZX range of tooling. And when you say a lot more to come, are you bringing introducing new products to the range? Yeah, I mean we've actually got a new product here today which we're going to be showcasing later in the year, um, which is a, a new lightweight facing head. One of the things that we're always being pushed for is how can we increase the speeds of things, how can we increase production, and so we've developed a special facing head which Neil is, um, is gladly accepted and he will do some trials for us. So we're very fortunate to have a company like this on our doorstep that we can utilise um, to develop our tooling. So you're reducing the weight, does this give, uh, so effectively can you achieve better cycle times because it's lighter? That's correct, yeah, I mean the, the 300 uh, that we've got here now will be the same weight, it, it is the same weight as the ZX200, we've taken 56 kilos out of the weight of the tool, which means in theory we can run it at the same speed as a 200, which gives them an extra 200 RPM, which should increase the production. Lee, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gio, thank you.